I went to Australia and it was incredible. Here's a few clips of me riffing on being a fish out of water. A barramundi out of water because this was Australia. Uh, when I launched the idea for this tour, it was, uh, it was this past summer. And I was very excited. I was like, I'm gonna go around the world and I'm gonna see places I've never been. And the election happened and I was like, and then I'm gonna stay there. <laughs> This is now this is now me deciding where I'm gonna live once they start like <laughs> so. It is a little frightening though, because like when I first did this tour, international travel was a lot easier than it is now for Americans. Because it was like, we welcome everybody and everybody welcomes us. And then Trump was like, no brown people. And I'm like, well fuck. And then all those countries were like, well then no Americans. I'm like, well that makes sense. And then he was like, we're gonna bomb China. We're like, well, there goes that trip. Uh, and they even fucked with you. Yeah. Even fucked with you guys. And I was like, what the fuck did Australia? Were they not drinking enough for you? Like, what, what did they do? Australia, like, you guys, there's nothing. Why would anyone have a problem with you guys? You guys are like the guy at the party that makes the party fun. <laughs> who then also refuses to leave. <laughs> now I can't always bring my dog with me on the road. I'd like to. I can't always bring him with me. Obviously I can't bring him to Australia because there are the quarantine laws that Johnny Depp didn't think were actual laws. <laughs> Wouldn't it? He's like, I'm above the law. And Australia was like, oh no you're not. You guys used to have a lot of gun problems and then you instituted gun control and then it changed the shit. And in the States they're like, but it would never work. It's like, but it has worked. <laughs> They're like, but didn't, just in Australia, I'd be like, yeah, the place founded by criminals worked it out. I realize I referenced paper, rock, scissors in that last joke. I do not know, is that an Australian thing also? Because a lot of different countries have different versions of it. Okay, cool, because I didn't know if yours was like, koala wallaby opera house. Like, I didn't know. Koala beats wallaby. Opera House clearly beats Koala. I don't know why Wallaby beats Opera House, but apparently it does. I also don't know why Paper beats Rock. Same shit. And I am accepting uh, $20 uh, Australian, even though that's like three bucks US. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, I understand, I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's $24 Australian. No, whatever, it's fine, I'll take a 20, it's fine. I'll accept your dollar dues. And, uh, <laughs> With your coin. <laughs> what the fuck is with your two dollar coin being the smallest coin? What the fuck? Who thought of that? Be like, maybe this way we can give him twenty dollars in coins and then it'll all fall out of his pocket and we can get it back. Right, um, but there's no there's no tipping here, right? That's not a thing. Thanks for coming to my shows. Thanks for subscribing to this channel, and thanks for following me on all kinds of social media. If you don't yet, you should totally do that. Thanks for watching.